I'm not gonna waste your time. Here's exactly how to learn to code fast as fuck. First of all, you've gotta set clear goals. Do you wanna make a video game? Maybe you wanna make a website for people. Or maybe you wanna make software for bigger corporations. Whatever your goal is, it's gotta be clear. Then you can separate this big goal into many smaller goals. For example, making your first video game or coding a basic e-commerce website. These things will help you achieve what you want with ease. Choose the right programming language. You've got to choose the right programming language. You can't become a web developer if you learn Java or C++. Neither can you make video games if you learn JavaScript. You've got to know what your vision is and learn the programming language that goes with that vision. I've got a video coming out next week on the only four programming languages you need to learn, so stay tuned for that. Structured learning, curriculum courses. I don't recommend YouTube tutorials when trying to learn programming. You might learn some great things there, but generally the information is kinda messy and you never really get to understand the basic logic of programming. And generally, people tend to avoid the three hour long extensive courses on YouTube and end up just watching a 10 minute YouTube video, which will leave you even more confused than at the start. If you wanna start coding, there are many courses you can take on Skillshare, Udemy, and many other platforms, which will help you learn better and more effectively. Or you could do what I did and follow the CS50 program, which is a free Harvard class that will teach you everything you need to learn about coding with projects and assignments to practice what you learned. Practice makes perfect. As I said in the last tip, courses and curriculums are the best since they present you with ways to practice what you just learned. Because what is knowledge without action? If you wanna remember what you learn, you gotta actually use it. It doesn't have to be a really big project. Small projects on the side can really go a long way in your coding journey. Sometimes you really just wanna remember a quick syntax you forgot, or you may have problems with your code that you don't know how to solve. Utilizing online resources can really go a long way. Websites like Stack Overflow are question and answer websites that unite computer programmers around the world. Utilized by almost every programmer, you probably will find what you're looking for since someone has certainly already met the same problem as you. Or you can just post your question and the error code to the website and people will answer you within a few hours. And trust me, the feeling you get when you find some random guy from 2011 who had the exact same problem as you, it does feel really good. And if you've been watching for this long, you might as well interact with the video in some way. It helps push the video within the algorithm. Celebrate small wins. You don't have to make the next Facebook or the next Instagram to feel proud about what you did. Make sure to celebrate smaller wins since that will help motivate yourself in the long run. You made a working calculator on Python. That's great. Now you know how to use the math library and can easily use it in your next projects. Don't shy out of being proud of small achievements. You don't need to be the next Elon Musk to make it as a programmer.